Hey guys, Reza here from Budget Audio Reviews. I am bringing you the review of the Tanjim Tanya. Um, this guy has been long overdue. I purchased the Tanjim Tanya on the 16th of May and um, today is the 1st of July so I've had quite a lot of time with the Tanjim Tanya and uh, let's keep this guy short and sharp. The Tanjim Tanya is about Singapore dollars, uh, I think about 22 Singapore dollars or so and um, it's one of the best earphone buys I've had over the past um, one year uh, when I got into the audiophile hobby and I think it brings uh, great value with great sound in a very tiny and compact package okay so let's run through uh, first things first in terms of uh, the build quality and comfort because uh, you know earphones is nothing if it's not comfortable to you okay so for the Tanjim Tanya I find it extremely comfortable for my ears um, the barrel shape is uh, small enough and um, you can see that from uh, the barrel to the nozzle, there's actually a slightly canted angle. And when it inserts into your ears, it fits the ears uh, nicely instead of uh, throwing off to one side forward or backwards. So it's a, it's a very smart design where the barrel is straight, but the nozzle is slightly angled. Okay, so um, let me just plug that guy out. So there is an angle to the nozzle. Okay, and um, what uh, I did use is the stock uh, ear tips throughout this uh, review. I did swap the tips around. Um, what fit best is the white ball, uh, the white ball tips here, and uh, it has a bit of a conical shape, so the insertion is uh, pretty solid, pretty good. Okay, um, I did try the Blonde BL 5s uh, ear tips. It's it works as well because it's similar in shape and it's even more conical, so it fits into my ears a little bit better. Um, overall, inside the packaging, if you look on the internet, it actually comes with uh, spare filters. Um, I'm not sure how to change filters and all that, but I guess, um, you know, I, I suppose if the sound goes off, you could probably dismantle this unit a little bit more and maybe change uh, that filter. Maybe it's, it, it got uh, you know, dirty or something like that. Alright, so in terms of the tuning of the uh, Tanjim Tanya, to my ears, it's a very pleasant sound. It's a very complete, full sound. Um, according to Tanjim, it is a Harman tuned uh, uh, earphones and uh, according to Tanjim, the Tanya has been tuned to the Harman IE curve and the intention is to restore the timbre resulting in a superbly warm and smooth sound which is both real for music appreciation and monitoring. Okay, and I went to the internet to find out a little bit more about what's the description of the Harman curve. So what does the Harman curve sound like? Ideally, it gives headphones much the same sound you hear when listening to a good set of stereo speakers in an acoustically treated room. So meaning the room has a, a bit more uh, padding so it doesn't have too much echoes bouncing around. Uh, simply put, that means there's going to be a little extra bass to simulate the bass boost that the typical room lends to speakers balanced out by some extra treble. While this might seem like it would sound unnatural, when you wear a set of Harman Curve headphones, they really do sound like speakers in a room. Um, and this description can be found over several websites. They are all the same cut and paste. Um, what I experienced with the Tanjim Tanya is exactly that. It felt as if I had really good speakers uh, in my ears. All right, so it's an entertaining, very relaxed, uh, for long listening sessions and due to its size and weight, it's super comfortable and I can wear it for many, many hours. So I'm very, very happy to report that uh, Tanjim has successfully done all these things that they've mentioned on their marketing copy. And, um, you know, it's very rare to see companies actually get their marketing copy as accurate as it would be to the end product. So, you know, good job, Tanjim. Good job. All right. And um, so the sound impression, so overall the uh, timbre of the uh, Tanjim Tanya is very natural. I like what uh, they've done to the bass. The bass is nice and plump. Um, maybe slightly muddy, but I don't think so. It depends on the sauce again. So um, the cleaner the sauce, the better the sauce, the better the earphones, all right? I do know that this is a budget range uh, earphones, but as you go along the hobby, you would want to uh, possibly invest in a slightly better higher resolution gear with higher resolution source but along the way as it is you would enjoy this straight off your mobile phone yeah okay so um, the thing is uh, yes it can play well on mobile phone but this guy it increases in its quality of sound in terms of the width of the sound and quality of the bass control, the mids and the trebles when it has a little bit more power. So I can go from mobile phone 
to a dongle deck to something like a uh, hip deck which is a combined deck and amp uh, in a much uh, larger form with an external battery to a fairly full uh, desktop setup like this and the cool thing is you can hear the jump and change in sound quality and quantity as you go along with the Tanjim Tanya. So it's a good start for using the Tanjim Tanya again to monitor different sources uh, that, uh, that you're putting through to the Tanjim Tanya. So it scales really, really well with more power. Um, I've talked about build quality, I've talked about comfort, it's like excellent. Uh, accessories are minimal, but again, I was very surprised that it came with those filters, yeah? So let's quickly wrap it up in under seven minutes video. I hope to do this. Hits, I'm gonna run through quickly. Excellent tuning for someone looking to be entertained for long hours. To me, it has superior comfort. These are very, very, very comfortable uh, and, and comfort is super important. If it's not comfortable, I just wanna throw these guys aside, yeah? Um, the tuning is kind of U-shaped Harman style tuning, uh, maybe mild V, okay, and, and it still allows vocals to be forward and very full bodied, okay. Uh, the timbre for acoustic and wood based instruments and guitars sounds great. So uh, acoustic guitars, even electric guitars, I've been listening a lot to uh, Richie Blackmore's uh, stuff. Uh, there's a live concert that uh, he, he hired another, another singer, another vocalist, and that's uh, incredible. Right, Soldier of Fortune sounds so good on the Tanjim Tanya. All right, and um, again, it's, it has good stereo separation and width, just like speakers, so you can have uh, the sense of uh, the instruments being spaced apart in the sound stage. Uh, imaging is pretty decent, so, you know, again, for $20, it's a lot to ask for, you know, very specific and uh, tight imaging and super wide sound stage and all that. It's not realistic, but overall, this is something that you definitely uh, will enjoy using for so, uh, such amount of money. Uh, Mrs. Trebles could have a little bit more snap and snare drums, you know, uh, and shimmer for cymbals. So meaning that when, when you hear that snare drum hit, you know, you don't feel that power, that crack of the snare drum. So um, it depends on, um, you know, preference. Again, it depends on maybe the quality of the drivers. This has really small drivers, seven, seven millimeter drivers. So comparing this, maybe something to a single driver like the Visa HE01 that has a bit heavier note weight, of course, you know. So uh, amongst that, I think imaging could be a little bit more precise, uh, but that's probably not the tuning intention. Um, you still get very high quality, high resolution sound in the Tanjim Tanya with very, very little money. Um, it's an extremely uh, good budget pair that you can use it and, you know, trash it around and all that and not be afraid that, you know, you will spoil it. Some people have asked me, um, yeah, how about the cables? Are they, are they detachable? Well, you know, um, for earphones like this uh, and the quality I'm getting, I don't mind if it's a fixed cable. In fact, this is better than the Tanjim Kora. Yes, I've not mentioned about comparison with the Tanjim Kora. I've had the Tanjim Kora, which is more than double the price. Tell you what, I love the Tanya, you know, way more than the Kora. The Kora sounds really, uh, you know, glaring in the upper mids, you know, vocals. I can't stand the vocals on uh, Kora. It sounds terrible. But the most important, the Kora sucks in its fit and comfort. You know, it's so uh, fiddly around. It starts to get loose. Um, the cables are really stiff and, you know, you have to wear those cables over the ears. Um, so the stiffness of the cables is similar to this. Look at that, right? So, um, but you know, you have to wear this over the ears. So guess what? When you wear this over the ears, it doesn't form over the ears properly, see? So the Cora has a, has a weird thing about the cables. And again, the Cora has uh, non-detachable cables, just like this. And I don't understand why the Cora at that price, which is more than double of the Tanya, not to have detachable cables, yeah? But for this, this is forgivable not to have detachable cables. I love the color, you know, uh, the feel and uh, you know, haptics of the cable is pretty good. Yeah, um, I do like, uh, you know, is a non, non L-shaped plug, which is very, very good. Um, you know, it doesn't get snagged in your pocket. L-shaped plugs to me, I don't like it to get snagged in the pocket or bag, yeah. So in summary, when compared even to like the Blonde BL05S, which is double the price, I did feel, you know, a little wanting on the BL05S even until today. So it's one of those love-hate relationship with the BL05S. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I just really hate it. So I just keep it first. Uh, I might give it away, I might, you know, just sell it. I'm not sure yet for now. Uh, but as of now, I'm super satisfied with the Tanya and, you know, it's been again one of the best buys I've had so far. Okay guys, so I am wrapping this up in 54321. Thanks so much for watching Budget Audio Reviews. Catch you on the next video.